I'm glad you're behind me in this, Grant. Well, why not? The Foundation's a terrific idea, and you're going to make it a reality. Uh, when I first brought it up, I think you were rather skeptical. Oh, I wasn't. I'm sorry if I gave you that impression. Good. Iris, this is a whole fresh start for me. Going into the oil business after being in banking so long, it's a fresh start for you. I think it's good for the both of us. I agree. And this foundation is a wonderful memorial to Alex. Oh, I feel the same. I think he'd be kind of proud of you. I miss him so much. Well, I miss him too. Only one thing is stopping me from leaving Houston with a full heart. Dennis? I'm worried about him. He's a lot better since he left the hospital. I know, but he's still looking for a direction in life. If Alex were alive, he'd be able to help Dennis so much more than I can. Poor Dennis. He never really got to know Alex, and Alex was his father. Let him have his head, Iris. He'll find his way. It's so hard. Dennis is all I have. There must be something I can do to help him. Oh, I'm sorry I took so long, Dennis. I had to get my notes on the orphanage story to the producer before they did the final cut. Dad, you don't have to apologize. I mean, I've been around the studio long enough to know it's always last minute to deadline. It is curious you think we would come up with a better system. Well, I don't think there is a better system in the news business. Well, I suppose not. Well, where would you like to go for lunch? Well, I have a craving for Mexican food. Oh. Well, I told Paige that I might stop by the boutique this afternoon to see how things are going. Well, there's a Mexican restaurant in the gallery. Why don't we go there? Perfect. Dennis. Yeah? Are you, um, are you still determined to leave Houston? Yes, I am. I hope you know how much I'm going to miss you. Well, I'm going to miss you too, Dad. Something I have to do. I understand. But I don't think you should leave without a plan. I agree. I have been giving it a lot of thought. And? Uh, I haven't come up with anything. Well, you have a good education. You have experience outside broadcasting. Mm, jack of all trades. <laughs> well, you've been in art and engineering. You could try your hand at one of those things again. Well, I'd like to stay in television journalism. Well, you're good at it. Well, it's what I enjoy most. Well, let's go to lunch and talk about it tomorrow. Good idea. Thanks for coming over. Well, I was going to drop by anyway. Any particular reason? Because I like you. <laughs> How are things for the Foundation coming along? Oh, uh, these are some of the brochures the Foundations have sent me. Oh, very interesting. It's fantastic. I've been doing a lot of research. Setting up this Foundation isn't going to be easy. Yeah, well, you'll do it. I'm not so sure. Grant will help. Grant has already helped. He put me in touch with a lawyer who specializes in such matters, but... Grant isn't going to New York with me. I, I could really use help on a permanent basis. I have a feeling I know where this is headed. I think you're the most natural choice to help. Now, Mom... Then I'm... the Foundation would really be a family affair. Look, Mom, I'm very proud of what you're doing. But I'm the wrong man for the job. You're Alex's son. Let me put this another no, way. Don't, don't answer now. Why not? Just give it some thought before coming to a final decision. The answer is no. Please. Look, I meant what I said about standing on my own two feet, Mom. That's something you're going to have to understand. But I do love you. That's for sure. Mrs. Whitfield, I'm certain that we'll have the new designs in by the beginning of next week, all right? And I will call you as soon as they come in, all right? Thank you for coming. Bye-bye. Ah! <laughs> will they be ready by then? I certainly hope so. <laughs> <laughs> she loves Michael's designs. Well, you certainly had her charmed. Why, thank you. Sometimes I'm afraid that this smile is going to freeze on my face. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis and I just had lunch. Oh, really? How's Dennis? He's doing very well, thank you. Trying to decide what to do with his future. I hope he finds it.
find something that makes him happy. I know you do. He deserves that much. Your future certainly seems very bright. Things couldn't be better. Now, soon you'll be opening a whole chain of boutiques all across uh, the country. Uh, no, no, I don't really think so. <laughs> Say, how would you like to go to a party with me? Uh, my brother's opening up his new offices. I didn't realize that you and Justin were on such good terms. I want Justin and I to be closer again, you know, the way that brothers and sisters should be. I see. I mean, after all, Justin is responsible for all of this. The money that he paid me for my share of the ranch made all of this possible. Did you mention bringing me to your brother? No, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Well, I'm not so sure. Why? I don't understand. Well, Justin and I didn't exactly get along when we worked together at KVIK. All the, the business with Alex, everything. I doubt that he harbors warm feelings about me. Elliot. That is all in the past. Haven't you let the past go? Well, yes. Well, then I'm sure Justin has too, so... Come on, come with me. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry we couldn't get together soon. Oh, that's all right. I kept calling you, but I just missed you all oh, the time. Oh, that is my fault. I have been extremely busy lately, setting up the foundation, trying to decide exactly what areas of research to go into. So many details. Oh, I still can't believe you're leaving, Houston. After all, I'm the one who brought you here in the first place. Well, I am leaving. Is it too late to ask you to reconsider? My decision is irrevocable. The Foundation will be rewarding work. I'm sure it will be. It will. I just hope that, uh, that you're being totally honest with yourself. What do you mean? Well, for instance, does Paige have anything to do with your leaving? Oh, at first I did consider my little bout with Paige is a setback. You were a little bout. You were at each other's throats. Oh, I don't know that I would put it that way. Oh, whatever way you put it, you weren't exactly genteel with each other. It's okay, honey. I know what a thorn page was to you. That seems so long ago. In any case, I'm above all of that now. I don't have any time for petty grievances or petty grudges. I have more important things to think about. <laughs> have you talked to Dennis lately? Yes. He's his old self again, Rena. Really. I'm glad to hear that. I want him to come with me to create the foundation, but he's intent on being independent, and I've accepted that. <laughs> Dennis will be all right. I'm sure he will be. I still wish you weren't leaving. I must, dear. But we'll keep in touch. Oh, Iris, I have to tell you that I am not very good at corresponding, but I'll make a special effort for you. One thing, Rena. Please iron out your differences with Ashley. Why bring up Ashley? I was a friend to both of you. And now that I'm leaving, it would be nice to know you're on better terms. Well, then, you might be glad to hear that I'm going to the office warming party that Justin and Ashley are giving on Friday. Oh, I am glad. I know you'll be in competition, but there's no reason it can't be friendly. No reason at all. Well, darling, I have to go. I want to buy a new dress for Friday. I think I should look especially good for that occasion, don't you think? Lena, hmm? are you by any chance up to something? What could I be possibly up to? Uh, no, it just seems to me that your attitude toward Ashley and Justin is a little too generous. Maybe I'm learning something from you. <laughs>